being in Alice has been brilliant eye-opening for many many reasons it's a fantastic opportunity to come together you know we all have such different lives and the opportunity to come together like this is just brilliant and to learn from each other and share experiences <laughs> I think we're incredibly lucky because in this sort of environment with the AIS it's always about how do we evolve um, and it's not targeted on one sport it's how do we evolve as a nation so that when you go to a Commonwealth Games or World Championships um, and Olympics that Australia becomes that powerhouse collectively so you really do get that real team view on everything. The AIS Coach Summit program is based on a simple idea really. It's all about the idea that people coming together to explore personally identified topics of interest and real world challenges is more effective than actually sitting together and using a predefined body of knowledge to start the learning process. We've started meeting online every fortnight. That occurred over a nine months period and then we wrapped up with a two-day session in Alice Springs. Now the idea behind that was trying to get to the centre of Australia, the heartbeat, uh, to try and show the coaches that this is who we are as, as coaches or as people of Australia and we're actually skillful custodians of the environments in which we work in and it's probably our responsibility to leave it in better shape than what we found. Working with the Indigenous culture in, in Alice Springs really just brings home to me the most important thing about the traditions and, the, and being custodians. Coaching is about connecting. For the Indigenous population, they do it differently. They've got this sense about connecting and storytelling and things like that. So, you know, we can learn a lot from them because, you know, it's not just what's happened over the last 20 or 30 years. They, they go back thousands of years. So they have these learnings through storytelling and we're just starting to use that more and more about telling stories as a way of getting your point across. Down at the Punya, past Bluff and another community called Van Leeming and just showing them the boxing, showing that out there and we've identified two boxing trainers that at... Uh... It's been unbelievably fantastic experience. High performance coaches are really busy people and for them to take well basically three days out of their schedule to come here demonstrates uh, their commitment to, to getting better and um, you know their capacity to, to come together to share experiences to share possible solutions to issues that uh, all coaches face even though the sports might be different and basically support each other sometimes the best support for coaches are coaches you guys talked about like there's more people want to get in and around this program's already impacted the way in which I've interacted with the people that I've been working with and um, it's connections that will be long lasting and I know that when you're under pressure or there's things happening um, in your, your sport you now get a text message how are you going or a congratulations. Sometimes had roadblocks with coaches that don't share, coaches that won't. I think it's very important to have a balance not only for the athletes but for the coaches so it's important to put that importance on the coach's well-being and to be able to have that flexibility but also to know that they're being taken care of. We're so focused all the time on the athletes and, and how they're going to perform but um, we need to perform as well so it's very important for us to have our well-being as well. The AOS has a long history of taking a long-term view on what sport or what high performance body outcomes are going to look like and in some small ways that's what the Coach Summit program is replicating. We, we just don't want to focus on the here and now Instead, we want to focus on this runway up to 2032 and develop the solutions, the capacity and capability of our sports to ensure they achieve the best outcomes. Sometimes being a head coach can be a lonely role and to learn how other coaches have dealt with those situations, the disappointments, uh, the success, you know, the, the conversations can go anywhere. So to be doing this now, we'll see the fruits of that in Brisbane. 